Today we're going to be creating our own fall acorns and we're going to be using an aluminum foil print and as well as using markers with a spray bottle and I have some extra scrapbook paper. So we're going to be creating our own texturized fall acorn. And what you'll notice here is I have a book called Little Acorn for us to be able to read as we're working. And then I also have a little movement break video that we could play about acorns too when we're finished. So at this time, all you're going to need is a little bit of aluminum foil, markers and scissors. I have the spray bottle, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, you know, white paper would be the best, and then any extra paper else that you have. I have scrapbook paper, but honestly, anything could work, even cardboard. So let's get started. Today we're going to be creating a simple fall activity, and we're going to be making acorns. So this lesson is inspired by uh, two art chambers. She had a great lesson on acorns, and I thought we could create our very own here. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper, scissors, markers, a spray bottle, as well as aluminum foil, and I have some scrapbook paper here that um, a friend had donated. So the first thing that we're gonna get ready to do is we need to create our acorn shape. So I want you to take any color marker, and I have my markers all together like this for me so they don't roll around. Um, but it doesn't matter whatever color you would like. And I'm going to use this green here and let's get drawing our acorns together. So before we begin, let's fold our paper. So we're going to fold it in half, hot dog style. So you meet those corners and you fold it in half. So now it's nice and long. And what we're going to do is we want the fold to be over on this side. And then we want the open part, which is this, open on the left side. So double check that you have the fold is on the right and the open part is on the left. The first thing that we're going to do is do a dot here. And then we're going to do another one here. And then we're going to do another one more towards the middle here. So what I want you to do is you're going to draw a straight line to this dot. And then you're going to curve to this dot. And there we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it. So you're going to go by the corner, the edge here, and you're going to cut out your acorn. So remember one hand holds the paper and the other cuts and slides. And as always, if it ever gets to be too much, you can always cut off some excess. You can always turn your paper. There's never one way to cut. Whatever makes it easier for your hands. All right. So now when we open it up, you'll see a big acorn shape. Excellent. If it's too long for you, you can always trim it. So I might trim some of this, make it a little bit shorter. There we go, I like that shape now. So now we have our acorn shape is all ready. What I want you to do is set that aside. You're gonna recycle your scraps so we get a nice clean desk area. And I'm gonna come around with a piece of aluminum foil. So what you'll need for this part is aluminum foil and your markers. All right, so we're gonna be doing a marker print. And what I want you to do is using your markers, color anywhere and all over on your aluminum foil. So take out those markers, use your favorite colors, and not pushing hard, but you're just gonna draw with your marker anywhere on the aluminum foil. 
take your time. You can blend different colors. I suggest not to do yellow on top of another so your marker doesn't turn all yellow. I mean, your yellow marker doesn't turn all dark colors, whatever you have on there. Once you've colored your aluminum foil as best as you can, I'll come around and I'm going to spray some water on your paper, your aluminum foil like this, and wake up the markers. And then you're going to take your acorn and you're going to place it on top and you're going to smooth on your piece of paper right here. Okay, once you're done, you're going to peel off your beautiful print. Look at that! So the next thing we're going to do is set this aside and we're going to wipe off our aluminum foil. To do that, you can just use a Kleenex or you can use a paper towel nearby. And I love reusing and recycling different pieces of art. So it's simple and easy to clean up and I will collect this piece as well. So now that we have our acorn print, we have our name on the back side of it because we always write our name on our papers. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to give you a scrapbook piece and we're going to create the top of our acorn. So let's get an idea. I'm going to flip my, you know, it's double sided so you can get the idea. But if you don't have one that's double sided, you can flip it upside down. And I'm going to get an idea for the cover for my acorn here. So it looks like it's the perfect width. It's not too wide, it's not too skinny. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the top. So what I would like you to do is in the middle, I'm going to have you do two dots next to each other. And I realize this is hard to see when my markers aren't working. So here's one and here's another. And I want you to give it a nice little top, a stem. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to do a dot in the kind of lower middle area on both sides just to help guide me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a big rainbow curve for both of them. And then I'm just going to draw a straight line down. And that's it. So there's my acorn top. Now what I'm going to do is cut this part out. Once you're done, you can recycle these scraps as well. And then what we're going to do <coughs> is use our glue stick and we're going to stick our acorn top on. So what I'll do is I'll flip this over, I'll get my glue stick. Remember when we use a glue stick we always want to make sure it goes down when we put the lid on so we're going to push it up just a little bit, not too much. I'm going to do a nice line across, a little bit thick. And then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put it on and voila! There is my acorn. 
If you really want, you could write Happy Fall on it. Or you could even decorate your top of your acorn a little bit more.